<laughs> I better be happy to. I am. And it's so weird, like getting the script, and, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm glad that you feel this strongly about it. I mean, I didn't, and then I was reading it, and I was like, what the <laughs> yeah. I guess, you know what I mean? I feel like we've always tried to, like, prove our worth to people. I don't know, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I know. I'll turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Just finished crying. It is days before we start filming our pilot or the Design Network. It just like hit me. I got the script for our intro package and I was usually the one writing scripts for other people and like a lot of it behind the scenes um, at my old job and a lot of voiceover work. So just, I don't know, it's kind of like everything fell away so that things could fall into place and I see that now. Uh, but it's still just We figured we would take you back a little bit to some moments that you may not have seen or even known about uh, over the last four months. Michael and I found out we were pregnant in February, and this was right before we were about to start filming the pilot for the show, and our year ahead was just so up in the air, and we were getting our house ready for this show and filming and going to the doctors multiple times. We ended up losing the baby and we went through so much that has really impacted our lives outside of YouTube and the short-term rental world. So once we found out this show had an air date, we really just wanted to share this moment with the people that we love because we've had a pretty tough year behind the scenes with family and ourselves. And we usually try to keep it pretty positive. So let's get back to that. All right, so obviously you now know that our show is airing. Yes. So exciting, but we are, we've decided really last minute that we're gonna throw a launch party. And, well. <laughs> or like a, a watch party. A watch party at our house here in LA with all of our close friends and family. So what does that mean? Now we're renovating this house. We're not renovating this house. We need to decorate this house because we've spent so much time and energy on our short-term rental that we've let this house that we moved into, you saw us move in back in September, we've kind of just done what we had. Yeah, it was like, like hand-me-downs and also like things we've had for years leftovers. that we've been living together. Mm -hmm. So now we're actually putting the effort into our house, which is nice. There's nothing like having a party to light the fire under your butt to, yeah. <laughs> to fix your house up. Yeah. So we got new plants and a bunch of stuff and we'll be sharing that on our channel. Yeah, we'll weeks. do a whole video on the after of what our house in LA looks like currently. And as you can see, we finished the gallery wall behind us. So that's a sneak peek of that. So while cleaning up the house, getting ready for the party, we remembered that we had made all of these holes and hung things up in this third bedroom that used to be Michael's studio. So I had to take all of those out and patch the holes and paint them because they just looked really bad. So that was my first order of business. So we are having a launch, a lunch party. Would it really be better if it said lunch party? <laughs> We're having a watch party next week for our show coming out. You know, the pilot that we shot, that we talked about, that we hadn't heard anything about when we were in Carmel? It's coming out on Saturday of next week. What does this mean? We've been slowly getting things done here and obviously worrying more about the short-term rental because that is like our income. And now we're like, oh shoot, we have all these hand-me-downs. We have things from random times in our lives in this house. Nothing is really cohesive. So... Well, we've spent so much time and energy making our short-term rental look really nice that like we haven't spent that much time making our own home the way that we wanted. Yeah. And so we decided to have this party to kick our butts into actually doing it. And it's a week away and I'm stressed out and there's a lot to do. But, but we're like, that's the hard thing is like you want to, you want to be proud of your home, but you're renting. Yeah, what do you what do you invest in someone else's house? But yeah. like also your 
living here every day. We'll let you guys in to see like what our own house looks like. I know we've like shot stuff around here, but when we moved um, in. yeah, now that it'll look nice and like the way that we knew it could when we moved in here, we'll show you. Yeah. <laughs> Back here. Why are we back here? Plants. Michael and I headed to Ikea. This is where they sell our favorite faux plants. So we got a bunch of faux plants and some real ones because they also sell real plants there. And then we went to Harbor Freight and Tool and got a pressure washer because the front of our house and the grounds outside, I don't think I've ever been pressure washed. They were looking really grimy and gross. So we were gonna do that, and then we headed to Home Depot. Last stop, Last we're back. Sunday. Gotta get some things. We wouldn't be homeowners if we weren't at a Home Depot on a Sunday. I understand my dad more and more every day. Yeah. Like this video, if you've experienced that throughout your life, where you're like, my dad always goes to Home Depot, and then now, now you're there every Home week. Depot. Yeah. So there's this weird hole in our backyard. We figured we were just gonna fill that in. Our landlord said we could do some landscaping, gardening in the back. So this was something that was pretty minimal that we figured let's just do it, fill in the space. So we got some river rock and we got some wood to finish the bay window bench that you saw Michael make a few months back. We've never finished it and we figured what better time than now to finish it up. And we got some baskets and some new plants and some lights at Ikea. And we're gonna show you all of that now. Cute. What's that for? This is for a bookshelf of some sort. Okay. That we may not own yet, or it's gonna go in the bookshelf by our back door. Yes. Really cute little mushroom bobby. People get our references, you think? No. Outrageous fun. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. Pick a hole. It doesn't matter? No. What do you want? Yeah. I didn't realize you could do that. Hi. We got a new rug. I'm gonna put it right here. Excuse me, sir. I guess it's now an outdoor bench, but. like to it's like hospital bright okay you're gonna get a bath before the party aren't you Ooh, not a big fan of that so do you guys remember when we made this bench for our living room it's just been used like this raw and I haven't taken the time or had the time to finish it off so now that we are having this watch party it is time to <laughs> kick my butt into finishing this and getting it looking nice so we are going to finish it off with some of this wood put a front piece on it sand it paint it make it look nice so that it doesn't look just like raw wood unfinished that will give you splinters. So when I first made this bench, we just kind of needed it to be functional. We didn't need it to look nice. So what I'm doing now is just finishing off the sides of this bench with some nice 
plywood on top. It was actually like a nicer plywood. And then putting a nice piece of trim on the front and sanding it all down. There is a cushion that's gonna go on top of this so you won't see the part in the middle. And this is kind of like a custom piece and I don't know if we'll ever use it after this. So <laughs> we'll just use it while we're at this house. And um, we just wanted to paint it white so it would blend in a little more and we put two coats of this white, I think it's just Swiss coffee on it, um, so that it would look nice. I have been cleaning pretty much all day and this morning I went to Home Goods and got some decor for our bookshelves that are coming and just doing like a deep clean. Like I deep cleaned this room, I'm finishing the laundry, but I cleaned everything, the baseboards, the doors, all of that. I cleaned this bathroom. I painted the baseboards because we had a water leak a while back. I don't think we ever talked about this because we don't really share our house in LA on camera very often. Cleaned the sink as much as I could. I mean, it's a rental, so we're doing what we can with what we've got, you know? Got some things at Home Goods for this bathroom. And then I got some new towels from Target. We got a little trash can from Ikea. Got this from Target and it's really small because it's not really small, but we can't really put anything on the ground right here, mat wise, because the door literally smushes into the ground. So anyway, we got a matching set with the curtain and the towels from Target. And then just got some extra teepee here and some things from Home Goods to fill out the space, a hairdryer and stuff for when people actually come and stay because our third bedroom is right here. And let me give you an update on what's going on in this disaster. We're filling out this a little bit. We're just gonna have these doors open. So they're gonna open up into this space so we don't need to, you know, fill it too much. And then we've got obviously this area pretty much done. And then I've got the swiffers that we're gonna take to Joshua Tree with us, but they are also smushing down this rug. This is our third bedroom. This used to be Michael's studio. If you saw our videos when we moved in, this was Michael's studio, but now this is our third bedroom. And we got a new fiddle leaf at Ikea and I've got all our brand new towels right here. I've got to fold them and put them away, figure out what the heck we're gonna put on these shelves. I have no idea. Oh my God, you think you have enough knickknacks and then you're like, wow, there's so many things. This is why you have knickknacks because you have places like this that you wanna fill with things like decor. And then when you move somewhere or you're trying to get rid of stuff, you're like, why do I have so much shit? This is why. I've painted, I'm gonna do another coat. I'm just doing some touch-ups on some things. And then I got some things from Home Goods. I did a full deep clean of the bathroom. So I put some plants in here and Michael said it looks like an old lady bathroom now. This is what I could do from Target that had like some green in it and it wasn't too aggressive. I like it. It doesn't look too old lady-ish. It's just, I think less people are gonna be in this bathroom anyway. So it's just something nicer than a white shower curtain. This is the update, back to it. So we need a different cushion on this, but now you can see kind of like the vision thing. It looks built in, but it's not. Okay, so tell me what just happened. Okay, we just got a booking at 9.38 p.m. Mm -hmm. Radio silent all the last couple days, right? Yeah, it's been radio silent since our last inquiry, which was on yesterday. We got an inquiry yesterday. Um, we had to decline it, but we could get into that at a different time. We confirmed just now at 9.38 p.m. a booking for next weekend. And then for the weekend after that, we got a booking at 9.52. So we got back-to-back -back bookings just now for July, and that's wonderful, but it's just interesting. It must be that it's our time to shine on Airbnb. These are on the Airbnb platform. So we had talked about the algorithm in our last video, and this is just, I think, evidence of that actually happening. Yeah, I think so too. We're gonna go pick out some books Why? for our bookshelves. Why? There's so many bookshelves. We just want to get some like color schemed books. We need filler books. Filler books, yeah. Yeah. So we're at Iliad store. Yeah. So we're looking for cheap books that look expensive, that are the right color scheme. Yeah, which is like coral, pinks. Yeah.
Sue Grafton at the Steam Town Mall. Sue Grafton is at the Steam Town Mall. So that bookstore was really cool. I was thinking about like going on Etsy, like Amazon to find a bunch of books to fill our bookshelf with. I mean, look at the, front, look at yeah. this store. There's a bunch of books like right here. I was I was gonna try and find some place online, but then I was thinking about it and I was like, we should just go to like one of those old bookshops and try and find a bunch of old books. And we walked in and there's like a dollar, two dollar section that was filled with all these amazing old books. Yeah. So um, we spent $60 and we are going to be able to fill our bookcases at our house and super excited about that, right? Kristen? And recycling books, you know, taking yeah. them off other people's hands and having them on our shelves as decoration but also just not throwing them in the trash yeah and actually we've got a couple for um the the short-term rental as well because some of them are really cool and we're like these could be cool in the house and we've never like spent time to like curate books that look nice for the short-term rental no we put all of our like esoteric and like spiritual books that books. we liked because we were like oh some people might like these out here so yeah, yeah. Looks but um yeah so now it's time to go fill the shelves Dim it for me. Nice. Yay, no more boob light. So now we'll have these two. One. Matching. And two. And we yeah. can replace them when we move. When we move out. That's a future Michael problem, right? Yeah. But the thought process behind doing this, and I know some of you guys are like, you guys are crazy. And I understand. But at the same time, we want to film in this house and the level of things that we want to put out to you guys, like the boob light does not reflect that. Yeah. So our thought process is these changes are easy. You have all the tools and everything. It They're takes, renter friendly. It takes 15 minutes and it, it's renter friendly if you know what you're doing. Now, I did find out that these lights were not wired correctly when I took them off. We may tell the landlords, though, because it could be a fire hazard. And we want to film in the house, and we didn't feel comfortable doing that when it didn't look nice. So we're doing little things to the house to make it look nice so we can film because it's part of our job. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, if in a year or a couple of years we decide to move, we decide to move, and we have to put a little extra work in. But that's just more content. <laughs> so, yeah. And we want to make the house a home. We want to make it us. And, and so we can entertain. We haven't entertained. I don't we think we've really, ever really. We haven't entertained here. See, like our desk. Yeah. It's, we're it's in like chaos we're, mode right now. <laughs> Slowly but surely we're getting yeah. there. But yeah, we haven't had like a group of people over. We've had some friends and we've gone out to dinner, but nothing like this. Mm -hmm. So this is fun. We're getting our stuff in order. Yep. Okay, so here's where we're at. We got the backyard clean. We got things set up, TV set up. We can put closed captions on too, but we got Finn awkwardly standing there. Woo. All right, so the party is about to begin. It is 3.53. We have guests checking into our short-term rental, into our Airbnb right now. So while everybody is getting here at four, we got to deal with our guests checking in, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. I think it's done. And I'm very excited for you guys to see our house in LA. There's obviously a couple more things we want to do to it, but um, just excited that we get to share it with our friends and family.
What? In a little bit, okay? I know, in like an hour. So thank you guys so much for being here. Two years ago, actually to the day, we got the keys to the house, to our Airbnb in Joshua Tree, and we decided to film the entire process, and we've been putting out a video, I think every week. For the last two years. For the last two years, and it's blossomed into like this awesome little thing. We got an email in January from the Design Network, and they basically, I thought it was a spam email, because it said TV opportunity in the subject line, yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, delete. And Michael was in the other room and said, Kristen, did you read the email we just got? And I was like, yeah, it's spam. He's like, no, read the email. It's, it's real, like it's an actual TV opportunity. I'm like, what? And they wanted to meet with us the next day. They loved what we were doing with the house and how we were filming all the process of DIYing everything. And, yeah, um, and so the premise is we help other people do what we did. So the first couple, Christina and Malachi, have an amazing house in Joshua Tree. We love you guys. <laughs> so it just goes to show that if you put yourself out there doing what you love, you know, things will come back to you. So um, this episode is the first episode of the quote unquote series. Don't know what's gonna happen next, so. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people in the room that know about this, but they like to shoot pilots, and then if they do well, they pick them up. So we'll see what um, happens next. So we'll see what happens with this, but this is the first one, and I don't even know what time it is. It's supposed to start like in a minute, I think. Oh, then I'll turn the, I'll turn the volume up and see. Yay, so thank you for being here. <laughs> Be highlighting those things and checking the boxes with stars and like, trees and everything and they, Do you they see described me? like the great memories that they made. At least for her, that's like very super special. That's a key clap. Woo! Thank you guys for being here. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Take a screenshot. Okay. Oh, there you go. Three, two. It might have started the video again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Finn. How are we feeling? Finn, are we tired? We made it. The show came out. We had our party. We cleaned up, fixed up our house. Now we can sleep. Hmm. Now we have three days of nothing. Yeah, we Let's have guests. Nothing. We have guests checking out tomorrow. Oh yeah, we have to work. <laughs> okay, yep, good night. Hey, go, 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 go,